Hello everyone and welcome to the Morning Metaphysical Report. This report is for Sunday, May 17th, 2020. My name is Lysander Zampas and I am a clairvoyant psychic and energy healer. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the astrology, numerology, and card guidance for the day ahead. And I'm also going to be guiding you through a few spiritual practices. Today's focus is spiritual nourishment. So I'm going to be briefly talking about uh, the week's topic to hopefully um, encourage you to nourish your spirit. I like to begin with a little singing bowl to bring ourselves to a place of peace. Next, I'd like to guide us through a grounding exercise. Grounding each day is important as a way of practicing self-healing and to release anything that is no longer serving us. Imagine yourself inside of a large bubble. This is your aura. Imagine gently attached to the bottom of your aura is a pipe that leads deep into the earth. Imagine a color within your aura representing all the energy that needs to be released. And see this color drain down your bubble, down into the pipe and down into the earth and breathe as you see this. I'm going to send my energy to help you in this release. We release all energy that is no longer serving us. We release all energy that is not serving our highest good. We release all energy that does not belong to us all foreign energy. We release all pain, negativity, and anything else that we are now ready to let go of. We release these things from every layer of our aura, from every chakra, from every part of our being and body. We release. Do you see the last of this energy exit the bottom of your aura? See the drain at the bottom disappear and know that your aura is healed and complete. The pipe just falls away from you and dissipates into the earth and you've grounded. I find it's a good practice to replenish one's energy after a release. And we're going to be doing this today with a mini crystal healing. And today's crystal is rose quartz. Uh, like quartz, it is a uh, a magnifying, transforming, cleansing crystal. And with the rose color, there is a focus on emotional healing and healing any issues pertaining to self worth. I'm going to channel the energy of this crystal to you in this brief healing. I will begin. I'm going to draw this mini healing to a close. I hope you enjoyed the energy of Rose Quartz. While we are in this energetic space, we are going to move into our affirmation for the day. We're going to say this affirmation together three times. Let's begin. 
I am loved. I am worthy. I am deserving. I am abundant. I am safe. I am loved. I am worthy. I am deserving. I am abundant. I am safe. I am loved. I am worthy. I am deserving. I am abundant. I am safe. Sometimes simple affirmations can be very powerful. As always, I encourage you to take this affirmation forward with you in your day ahead if you are so inclined. That concludes our affirmation for the day. And now it's time for our spiritual nourishment segment. And this week, I would like to talk briefly about inner wealth. And really, the thing I want to convey to you is your own value. You have value. And I encourage you over this week ahead to look within and discover your inner wealth and worth. Each one of you is a part of source energy, and you are a part of the energy of love that exists throughout all of existence. And we are all connected as part of a great tapestry, so to speak. You have intrinsic worth just because you exist. And your life has a value. And you are so loved by the spirit of our world. The world that we live and exist in has a spirit of its own. And it radiates love from itself to each one of us. And that love is available to us at all times. And it is truly unconditional. And many of us, we have so many stories we tell ourselves about why it is we're not worthy and deserving. And uh, why we, we don't care for ourselves. So I ask you to... to um, Acknowledge whatever story it is you have that is the reason why you are not good enough and to be willing to consider a different point of view and know that so much healing and shifting within yourself and your life is possible when you work on this one simple thing and that it is 100% up to you when you will make the shift and decide that you deserve to live well and that you deserve something better than what you have now. Uh, whatever state it is you're existing in, there's so many ways we punish ourselves. So I'm praying that you have this epiphany soon, that you deserve to be happy and to live a good and comfortable life with people you love and who love you. I would like to share with you a very brief meditation. And this meditation is going to help you connect to the love being radiated from the spirit of our world, from the earth at all times, and to experience that embrace firsthand. Sometimes we uh, disconnect or we reject something that is our birthright and is there for us all the time. So wherever you are, if you're doing, you can leave your eyes open or close them. Draw your attention to your breath and just be present within yourself. And again, I find it helpful to visualize a bubble around myself if not necessary. I'd like you to intend or visualize that either from the bottom of your feet or the bottom of your spine or the bottom of your auric bubble, roots extending and reaching down into the earth, pushing through the soil, deep down into the physical and spiritual earth. And as you breathe in, imagine 
breathing energy up through the roots. Imagine this golden, yellow, sparkling energy being pulled up through your roots and up through your body, all the way to the top of your head and then radiating out of your body, out through the layers of your aura until you are completely encompassed. And this energy you're pulling up is elemental love from the spirit of the earth. And it is there for you all the time. And really allow yourself a few moments at least to pull this all the way up and to sit in it. And you don't need to release it. We're meant to be connected. It is in our nature to be interdependent and to be part of this spiritual system, this net, this web, this tapestry. Um, that was the intention and we function so much better when we exist as part of this greater whole while also still being our individual selves as the great challenge being connected and being individual so you're welcome to stay in this energetic state as long as you like and if you are feeling uh, lonely or unworthy or what have you or you just like to experience this again it's a it's always there. It's never not there. Love is in the earth and is there for you unconditionally. Absolutely all embracing. And you can even, while you are putting your roots down, you can imagine also breathing out, releasing downward your worries, your fears, your tears, your anger and hatred, anything you're carrying on you, any problems you're experiencing or would like to see resolved to release them down into the earth. The earth can handle it. It will transmute it. And it'll carry it away from you. And then to pull up that love. The last thing I'd like to share with you for this segment is a simple affirmation that I'd like you to consider taking and practicing for the week ahead um, and uh, even longer if you like and it is I approve of myself and to say it as often as you think of it hundreds of times a day even and to contemplate once in a while what does it really mean to approve of a person of a thing and to apply that to yourself all right, so next I'd like to move into our card of the day. So today's card comes from the Wisdom of Avalon, and this is meant to give you insight into the day ahead, May 17th. You may find you resonate with the entirety of the message or just parts of the message, and both are perfect. Today's card is love. This marker reminds you to show kindness and compassion to all whom you meet on your path, be it a beggar on a street corner, a co-worker, a family member, an animal, or a plant whose leaves need a pruning. This marker asks you to shift perception from yourself as a solitary person on the earth to one who's part of a living system. Love is what made you, so keep it flowing. It has. Remember to receive love as well. Ask yourself, am I blocking love? This marker reminds you that you're as connected to all of life as it is to you and that you're responsible to be the steward of the love of the God, Goddess, and the Earth. Love is without conditions. It is respectful, mindful, sees all life as sacred, and acts in accordance. Love reminds you that this very planet is a living being. Love is the very essence of the divine in you, and it sees the divine in others. This is the time to see through the eyes of love and always ask before you act, what would love do? The answer will always bring you extraordinary power. 
This marker is a very fortunate and transformative omen. And that is the card for May 17th. All right. Next, I would like to share with you the numerology for the day. May 17th is an eight day. And the focus and the energy in this day ahead is on inner wealth. Eight is a wealth vibration, and the focus is very internal for this day. So uh, we must find inner value within ourselves. It is there. You are valuable and deserving and good. And this is really just a chance to see it for yourself. And genuinely seeing that inner wealth, our inner condition is reflected in our outer experience and so this is another way to open yourself up to experiencing more good in your life <laughs> six cactus why do you <laughs> all right so next i'd like to share the astrological aspects for the day ahead um this is describing the energy in the day ahead, influencing all of us and available for all of us to use, regardless of your individual sun sign. So it is not the same as a horoscope. Will we sit? Will we sit up here? <laughs> no, she doesn't want to. All right, so let's take a look. Hi, sweetie. Hi, she wants my attention right now. So the first aspect is the sun in Taurus and sextile with the moon in Pisces. And this energy draws our attention, especially our inner attention, our inner self, emotions, subconscious, uh, towards where our true comfort lies and what in our life is not really fulfilling us or our deeper emotional needs, where we're starving, you know, and what it is we really need to feel nurtured and fulfilled. And then the, the moon in Pisces is sextile with Jupiter in retrograde in Capricorn. So, as we continue examining our definitions of success, we may have to contend with emotions about our past, especially past failures, and how that has affected our perception of our path forward. And it is an opportunity to perhaps shift our feelings about it and to let whatever happened in the past be over and really open ourselves to experiencing a new success in the future, not limiting ourselves by how things have gone before. All right. Then the moon moves into Aries. So our inner self moves into having a lot of energy and initiative, but lacking focus. So it may help you. What it is we really need is a way to focus our energies rather than just kind of allowing ourselves to bounce off everything in all directions. And then the sun in Taurus is in triune with Jupiter in retrograde in Capricorn. So this energy brings illumination to what was mentioned before. Uh, illuminating a new path ahead and illuminating a new alignment that we experience with success kind of the what we'd like to create for ourselves in our lives really changing that to be in alignment with our true nature and to expand our understanding of what that means for us so before, it's like kind of contending with the inner emotions, and this is sort of allowing 
an opportunity to take this energy to recalibrate. And finally, the moon in Aries is in sextile with Saturn in retrograde in Aquarius. This brings with it a strong emotional internal initiative and need uh, for moving towards wanting to create change, not just in ourselves and our lives, but on a greater scale, like in our communities or even the world or society um, on any level. And like a desire towards revolution, whether again, it's on a personal level or on a greater scale. So that is the astrology for the day ahead. And now I'd like to take a moment to say, and the morning is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you. Um, on screen in a moment are the names of the members of our Patreon. Thank you for your continued support and for helping me create spiritual content. Thanks to all of you who share these videos each day and of course to all of you who watch. If you'd like to learn more about MMR and how to support the evolution of the Morning Metaphysical Report, please visit our webpage at patreon.com slash morning metaphysical report. That link's in the description. It's going to be on the screen in a moment. Members of our Patreon who have a monthly subscription get access to exclusive content. There's over a hundred videos of exclusive content and each month you also get access to the monthly metaphysical report. May is currently posted. All right. And now finally, I would like to set an intention for our day ahead. We are the creators of our reality. So I encourage you to set an intention for yourself or to set my intention for you. This is a simple way to engage our creative power each day. This day ahead brings us a true direct experience of the joy and love and worthiness that exists at the core of each of our beings. You are loved, you are worthy, you are deserving, you are good, and you are more than good enough and more than worthy of a fulfilling, happy life. We open ourselves to receiving all of our good and we accept all of our good for ourselves now. We are so grateful. Thank you. And so it is. Remember to like, follow, or subscribe to Facebook, YouTube, or Patreon if you'd like to keep seeing MMR each day. And thanks for spending the time with me today. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you all again very soon. My name is Lysandra Xanthus, and this has been the Morning Metaphysical Report. Oops, <laughs> wrong screen. Bye.